Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get Switch emulation up and running on your Steam Deck Steam OS legally. Um, and you know, without further ado, let's just get started. Before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check their website out using my link below. They're a gaming website that offer games at cheap cheap prices and they can do this because they buy their games directly from the game developers cutting out the middleman you know and they buy in bulk so they can negotiate like deep discounts and one of the games i'm actually looking at is this one star wars outlaws it's currently at 49 percent discount so i heard this game isn't too good uh, but you know i am a big star wars fan and at this price i actually might want to check it out and i'm actually an official partner with instant gaming so what that means is they offer my viewers a chance to win a game of their choice and on their platform because you know they offer games on pc playstation xbox and nintendo so make sure you click on this link register um, a free account and click participate so there's a free lucky draw every single month the next one's in 28 days so make sure you are you know participating in my lucky draw first thing you need to do uh, go to desktop mode on your Steam Deck and open up the web browser. Go to mudeck.com and then click on the download button. Make sure you click Steam OS and you should download a file called mudeck.desktop in your downloads folder. Okay, so once you've got this, double click it, click execute. It's going to run the installer. It's fairly straightforward. Just follow along. It asks you where you want to install it on your internal SSD or on your SD card. So once you've got that, it takes like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm not going to do it on camera. Once you've got that installed, it should look something like this. Okay. And it might be a little bit overwhelming at the start because there's a lot of stuff going on. Don't panic. Go to manage emulators. And then you'll notice that both of the popular Nintendo Switch emulators, like it's not installed. So Jinx recently got um, taken down. The GitHub's gone. That's why it doesn't have a place to download it. So it's not installed. And then Yuzu's been gone for a while now, early this year, emulator not found. But if you still have the app images, I'm gonna teach you how to do it manually. So you need to have the app images. I'm not gonna provide them. I'm not gonna give you links. Go find it on the internet. Okay, I've got uh, Ryu Jinx. No, I've got Yuzu. I've got Yuzu right here. So Linux Yuzu Early Access 4176.app image. That's the latest released before they were taken down. Just copy this, okay, and go to your home directory and then applications and just paste it here. Paste one file and you can rename it. Just rename it to yuzu.app image. And back on MUDAC, if you go back and click Yuzu again, it, it found it. But it doesn't really do anything. It's just, you know, it's found. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Make sure you open up the emulator. Double click the app image. Click execute. And the first thing you're greeted with is you don't have the keys. Okay. Um, and then the second thing that you should be greeted with is do you want to share data with the Yuzu team? Make sure you say no. Okay. If you accidentally press yes okay, and you don't want to share data, click to emulation configure and then here in the general tab web make sure share anonymous usage data with user team is unchecked okay okay so you need keys okay so like i said earlier in the video to do this legally you need to dump your own keys uh, i think i've got a video on that i'll probably link it uh, i've got a video of dumping your firmware i'm not sure if i've got a video of dumping your keys uh but yeah it's a similar process you need a lockpick tool Okay, so get your own keys. I've got mine right here, the zip file. Okay, it looks something like this. So where do you put it? Where do you put the keys? Go back to your emulator, file, open user folder. And inside here, there's a keys folder. So we're going to put the keys inside the keys folder. And that's it. That's it. Okay, and now you need to restart your emulator. So close the emulator and then open it back up. And then once you open it back up and you've got the keys installed, uh, it wouldn't have that message anymore. Now we need to install the firmware. So, okay, so I've got my firmware also in my downloads folder. It's inside a folder called firmware 18.1.0. Here are all the firmware files. Back on the emulator, click on tools, install firmware, and then select that folder. So it's in my downloads, firmware 18.1.0, choose. 
and that's gonna install. Doesn't take a long time. 18.1.0 installed. Okay, and now we're gonna select our game folder. So double click to add the game folder. By default, you should have a folder inside your. Uh, I installed Emudeck onto my um, internal SSD, so it's in my home directory. And then I've got a new folder called Emulation, ROMs, and then. It, uh, select switch okay so that's default you can put it wherever you want just point it to your switch roms folder okay and currently i've got no games so let's place a game inside there so home emulation roms switch so i want to put a game inside there so i've got moonlighter i'm going to copy it and then paste it onto my switch ROMs folder. Okay. And then here on my emulator, you can see it automatically detected my ROM. Okay, I've already installed the um, the update. So let me show you how to install. I'm gonna remove it first, the update. So by default, you should like have this, it's just the base game. And if you wanna install an update, okay, right click the game. Okay, no, you don't right click the game. Just go to here, file install files to NAN. And then in my downloads folder, I've got the update file here and just select it and update. And here's the update, right click it, properties. Properties, okay. So I can like disable the update so just in case maybe there's a glitch on the base game and I wanna use the glitch. I can disable the update if you want, okay. And then if you want to add mods, right click the game, open mod, data location, put your mods here. Or if you wanna transfer over some save files, open save data location, okay? Pretty simple to use, okay? Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, and then you might wanna wanna set up the controller, okay, for your Steam Deck. So go to emulation, configure, and then here controls. Okay, make sure this connect controller, this is checked, it's green button, it's checked. Okay, Pro Controller, I'm fine with using the Pro Controller. Input device, okay, I'm gonna select Steam Virtual Gamepad. And if I move my right analog stick, it's moving my mouse. So like, I can't, it's not working, but it works in gaming mode. But if you wanna check it out in desktop mode, but gaming mode, uh, you need to enter gamepad mode. So how you do that, press the start button, the Steam Deck start button for one second. And you can see here, gamepad. So when I use my right analog stick, it goes like this. All right, so I know that the controls are working. Okay, and if you wanna go back to desktop mode, just press and hold the start button again. See that, that's the desktop controls. Okay, and I wanna to go to gamepad mode, okay? Because I wanna show you also gyro. So if you're on your Steam Deck like screen, you can't see this, like if you scroll down, pull the window down, you see this motion? You need to ch click on this button, but you can't do that on your Steam Deck screen. So I found a way to do that. Go to your desktop, right click, configure display settings. Okay, and just change it to portrait mode. So you can like, like be in portrait mode and then you can scroll down the window and get this motion button. Okay, but before we press the motion button, go back to your MU Deck and then scroll down the left here, you've got a option called gyroscope, click install. Okay, and it'll install gyro DSU, which is needed. So it'll automatically install. And then once it's finished installing, press any key to exit. I'm not sure if you still need the pseudo password because I remember back when I used to install it, I need pseudo password. So if it does ask you for a pseudo password and you don't have it, go to your start button, all applications, go to K, K for console, and then type P-A-S-S-W-D. Okay, then you can set up your pseudo password. Make sure you remember it because if you install anything on your Steam Deck that requires root access, you need to have this pseudo password. So remember it. Okay, I'm not gonna like, in, like change my password, so I'm just gonna quit it. Um, so once Steam Deck Gyro DSU is in, installed, Go back to your emulator, make sure here, motion, this is checked. Click configure, and if you press test, it should say successful. 
If it says unsuccessful, that means you didn't install it properly. Okay, so successfully received data from the server, that means it's fine. Okay, and then here, if I click the motion button and I shake my Steam Deck, you can see, see here? Yeah, that's the gyro. Oh, oops. Press the wrong button. Okay, see my gyro? It's moving. Okay, so that's gyro. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to add. Oops, I'm adding. Okay, what I want to do is I want to add the ROMs, these games, to my Steam Deck library so I can access it on gaming mode. So I can run these uh, Switch games on gaming mode, right? You want to have it on your library. You don't want to play these games uh, on desktop mode. So what you need to do, go back to your MU Deck and then here, Steam ROM Manager. Click on it. Okay, let it load. Okay, welcome to Steam ROM Manager. First thing you need to do, click here, choose, select your Steam account, save, next. Okay, and then here is all your emulator passes. Okay, uh, I normally turn them all off and select the ones I need, but let's not use this UI. We're gonna go here, settings, and then in select theme, we're gonna select classic. So this is the classic theme because I want to create my own parser. So don't use the um, don't use the Nintendo Switch Yuzu one here. So by default, it already has a parser. Okay, don't use this. Create your own one because this doesn't work anymore. Uh, it, like the settings aren't correct. So what you do, go here, create parser. Okay, and then here, community presets. Okay, it's gonna take a while for it to load. Okay, so once you've got it to load, uh, I'm gonna select Nintendo Switch Yuzu. Okay, and then here, that's fine. Configuration title, Nintendo Switch Yuzu, that's fine. Steam directory, that's fine. User accounts, fine. Okay, ROMs, this is not fine. ROMs directory, not valid. So select the ROMs directory. So mine's in um, emulation, and then ROMs, and then switch. Switch, okay. And then, um, what else? Okay, Steam collection, so it is blank. I actually wanna add something. So I'm gonna call it switch yuzu, okay? So in my Steam collection, it's gonna say, like see here, uh, when I open up Steam, if I can. So it, it like categorizes it. So I'm gonna add it here, Steam Collections, Switch Yuzu. In case like I have Switch Ryujinx, you know, I know because there's the same game, uh, I wanna know which emulator I'm gonna use. And then here also, executable, it's not correct. So we need to go back to our home applications, Yuzu dot app image. So select this. Okay, and that, that's it. And then click save. Okay, and then here, click add games. Click pass. Detected my Moonlighter game. And then I'm gonna click save to Steam. So it's gonna kill Steam. So it needs to shut down Steam in order to add the shortcut. And then it's gonna reopen Steam automatically and then add it. So just wait for it. Like don't panic here, don't just close it. So attempting to restart Steam, doing batch. And then when it says done adding, removing entries, that's when you can close it. So Steam ROM Manager, that's done. Okay, and then we can close MU Deck. Okay, and open up Steam. Let's go to big picture mode and see, like just mimic the, the gaming mode. And then, so just click on your Steam button, library. And you can see here on the top, go to collections. And I've got Switch Yuzu, the one I created, and then Moonlighter. Okay, and then just play. See, see it's launching, okay. So that's how it's done, guys. If you wanna uh, leave a comment, make sure you say something nice. And if you have any issues, also let me know in the comments and I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.